Hello everyone! Welcome back to our channel! This has been a momentous week, has it not, Kaylin? Why? Why do you say that? Let's show you why. Why? Oh my god, Dilly Dally! Oh my god! It's so perfect! On April 24th, it was 7 a.m. I was about to do the chores, feed the pregnant goats their grain, get them hay, get them water, and I came into the barn, I opened the gate to the stall, and Butterbrickle ran for her life. Something that really upset her. <laughs> I opened the door, I looked closer because it was pretty dark in there, and I saw little baby standing there, still wet from being born, and Mama was just delivering the placenta. All right, you can look. She's looking for milk. She's gonna need help. She's so cute. Right? Is that Dilly Dally's? Mm hmm. Is she gonna have more? She's looking pretty flat. I don't think she's having any more because she passed the placenta. Oh my goodness. This is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Can I have some of those? Oh. What do you think, Marshall? She had a baby. What do you think? Can uh, I pet that? So cute. Yeah, mommy. She's a baby. I did not know mm. that. <laughs> Freezing. It's cold, huh? Yeah. Mm. Can I pet the baby, baby? to see because they're both really dark colors. Oh, dilly dally. <laughs> there, baby got some. Right. So. Who's that? You have your food? Yeah, yeah. We're just going to put it in that. The feeding frenzy. Don't step on your baby, you crazy nut. What? You feel left out? Oh my god, Diamond, you're such a brat. Hey, hey, go away. Well, Farrell, you're gonna get hit by the diamond's head well, stuck a little bit. Just go up, up, <laughs> up, and put your head up. I wanna eat some. Diamond, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. <laughs> No. She's like, oh, the more Forever you tell stuck. me no, the more I'm gonna be like, there you yeah. go. Oh, there. No, I'll leave that right there. That way Big Mama can't reach it. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> She's been such a punk today. I don't feel the least bit bad. So this week has been really crazy between my sister visiting and the baby goat. The baby what? We named her Huffle Puffle because we have silly names for all of our goats. And she is the most beautiful little baby ever. We're super proud of Mama Dilly Dally. Missy Butterbrickle is absolutely holding those babies hostage. We have no idea when she's due. I, I can't feel ligaments. I can't figure out how to find their ligaments to tell when they're going to give birth. So uh, I've just been waking up at 2 a.m. every night to check. And how does that make you feel? Not happy. You got it? Not happy. Um, I don't like that. Is that right? You want to say hi? Oh, wow, she actually was okay with the... Wow, look at it! Are you jealous, Diamond? Diamond has gotten more and more aggressive, so we're trying to rehome her by the end of the week because it's evolved past regular headbutting into she is... Um, attacking. Attacking Butterbrickle, like ramming her full force in her side. So we're concerned for the safety of the babies and the rest of the herd. She just needs 
bigger goats to be around. The last place she lived, she was in with a bunch of other Nubians and a big herd. So it wasn't like, uh, you know, there was just a huge different dynamic. And I don't think she's fitting in well here. Like I said, it's not normal behavior and we're not really sure what's going on, but we can't have it here. We're just worried she'll trample the babies when they get old enough to run around. She's been really nice to Hufflepuffle so far, but we don't want to risk that anyways. And we don't want to risk Butterbrickle having an abortion because she got rammed in the side too hard. Here. That's all you ever do is sleep. I don't like it when she sleeps. She looks like she's dead. Hi. Yeah, guys. It's bedtime. It's bedtime! Yes, yeah, so bedtime. So when Hufflepuffle is two weeks old, what we're going to do is start milking Mrs. Dilly Dally and have lots of goat milk for our family, I hope. Also, right around 10 to 12 days old, I have an appointment to go get little Miss Hufflepuffle disbudded. We do not want our goats to have horns. It's just a personal decision for us. And unfortunately, she is not pulled like her daddy bootstrap Billy. And pulled, for you people who don't have goats or know what it is, it means that they don't have actual horns. My pulled goat, he has two little lumps underneath his head, but they never grow horns. That's just what he uses to fight with are two really rock hard stubs underneath his hair. Goats that are not pulled, have horns and they will pop through at a few weeks old so they get burnt off in the disbudding process so that they cannot grow horns we do not want horns because horns can get stuck in fences snap off and bleed everywhere uh, or they can hang themselves it's kind of a dangerous thing sometimes and we don't want to deal with that especially with our cattle panel fences those are super easy to get stuck in baby is super sweet and escape artist already uh she's really quiet if, as long as you're holding her or mama's got her she's super super quiet no noises whatsoever and she just seems like a really low-key baby and nobody told me that baby goats smell this good it's like the bird, the parrot smell. Oh yeah, seriously. Parrots smell really sweet. And delicious. And she smells super sweet. All right, mama, you want your baby back? No, 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 no. We're not going out. There you go. There's your baby. We had to build a wire barrier right there to make we sure that it she couldn't get out because she was hopping right over that board we put up. She already definitely prefers that nipple and that side. Precious? Do you like her name? Mm-hmm. Hufflepuffle! Mm-hmm. Remember when we held Bootstrap's other babies? They were like, Wah! and then uh-huh. Mama started getting mad. Uh-huh. She's so tiny, huh? Mm-hmm. What do you think about her? What's your favorite part? Soft. She's so soft. Mm-hmm. She's super soft. She's brown like Dilly Dally. Yeah, she has Dilly Dally's colors, huh? Mm-hmm. Our plan for the garden keeps changing. I wanted to do a no-till gardening approach to it. The reality is I don't have enough cardboard to put down and it's going to be too expensive to cover it all up with topsoil. So we're probably just going to till it up even though I don't want to and add a bunch of compost to the pre-existing soil and call it good. And then if we really want to go crazy with checking pH balances and all that stuff, we'll do that next year. But as it stands right now, we're concentrating more on chickens. And that's just what's going to happen. And I think our goals too is we want to have a garden and we want to actually grow things. And let's see if we're successful. And then from there, we can decide how we can make our zucchini bigger. <laughs> how we can make our asparagus more plentiful. 
yeah, my strength is not in gardening. I love it, but I am not the expert here. I don't want to spend a whole bunch of money on something that I need to do more research on. Bottom line. So that is not my priority. Our update on Janie Janie here. We thought she was missing for a while, but it turns out she was just upset by Will and Julianne's cat, Stevie, being here around. She figured out he was living on the bus and she decided she didn't like that. So she threw a temper tantrum and went to live underneath the old cow barn that we're turning into a chicken barn <laughs> for like four days before we finally saw her again. And now that she's over it, she's back in here eating her food and saying hello. So we're just so happy that nothing bad happened to her. Next plan of action should be to put the deer netting around this thing, all around the garden area. So we also need to build some of the raised garden beds. What else has been going on, Kaylin? We've got a concrete Plow. foundation. Yep. Concrete foundation that is solidified enough that we can relocate the previous dilapidated barn. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The ducklings are coming up for an expansion in their home. Yeah, we're going to move them really soon because they're getting really, really big. Julianne, Will, and I have had our first conflicts. And I know that was everybody's biggest question for this intentional community thing. So what we did was we shot out their tires and yes! <laughs> told them they weren't welcome anymore. And then we broke their windows? No. Oh. We went to their bus and we all sat down. And had we, a conversation. And yeah, we had an adult conversation wow, about what shocking. was bothering us. All right. How are things going? It's well, going. it's going. The bus is in a different location than we normally keep it because... The septic tank needed to, be emptied. needed to be emptied, and so we pulled it over yesterday to do that. But when we disconnected the electricity from the actual, what's it called? Tower? No, oh my from, God, that's from a, the pole. A burn yeah. hole. Yeah, that's the, not uh, supposed to be there. Yeah, yeah, the whole tooth burned out. We had a power reading, surge the other night. Well, after reading uh, the specifications for just this plug and the replacement, we found out that the people who had the bus before who wired it previously use 10 AGW wire and you need at least six. The directions specifically say if you don't, this will happen. This will happen. <laughs> so pay attention to all the directions for especially electrical supply stuff <laughs> because we got really lucky that it didn't just burn the whole thing down. We got Seriously. so lucky that it just disconnected one, the hot leg and it was like, well, okay. Yeah. But anyway, so we drove to Spokane yesterday to get this replacement part, we've been driving around today to find the wire that we need correctly. From camping, oh wait, uh, RV World? No, Camping, camping World. World. Camping World, by the way, highly suggest Camping World and yeah. their membership. Super, super helpful. Super, super helpful <laughs> if you are traveling. Get it. It's like $55 now, normally $79. Yeah, it's oh, all the burnt little... plastic. Yeah, dang, that's Crazy. early. <laughs> anyway, so, yeah. Um, yeah, so bus life, you know, it's an adventure all the time, always. Yeah. Uh, but the other thing about it is, like, this is where we live, as well as traveling and stuff. So, it's like, obviously, this is an investment that you have to make. We're thankful that we have access to electricity and water in another yeah. place on the... Uh, homestead. We've also been having so much fun getting to know Hufflepuffle. Still, the ducks. Yeah, the ducks are growing. They're crazy big. Aren't they beautiful? Actual, making actual ducks. <gasps> yeah, there. I heard one little quack today. Yeah, yeah. I it's... just lost my mind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The bigger, the bigger white ones have let out a couple actual duck sounds instead of just peeps. I heard a quack. I was like, oh, they getting big. <laughs> they yeah. actually look white now. And everything. Yeah. yeah, getting real feathers. Update on your water situation. Initially, when we moved out here, went to go hook up the water. We thought everything was fine. And whenever we hooked the water up, we found that we actually had a leak that was either here or there. And it was leaking all the way to the front. It was the steps. It was all wet right there. And so we disconnected the water. Thankfully, you guys let us use the shower and toilet facilities <laughs> here. But after... Some exploratory cuts found it was just uh, two loose connections and just needed some plumbing thread tape. And after we did that, hooked the water back up and we have water. Fantastic. Now the next thing is just getting the electrical and shore power fixed and then... Being able to plug in our propane. Yeah, getting our propane ready. But I have to take one regulator off for the propane and then we should be firing on all cylinders. <laughs> 
fully functional. Fully functional. Yeah. It's only been like a couple weeks. Wait yeah. a minute. Yeah. <laughs> a isn't month. How life, isn't how life is, is that like, especially when you're doing it in a small town and, you know, in San Diego, we could get, if we didn't have one Home Depot that didn't have it, we went five miles over yeah. and there was another Home Depot available to choose from, you know, out right. here. Yeah. It becomes a little bit more complicated to actually source materials. <laughs> Th- thankfully, Camping World literally had one of these and one of the cords that we needed to replace it. So and lucky. Yeah, thanks to their uh, membership, too, we signed up and saved like $180. Yeah. So, seriously, Super if you're impressive. going around the country, at <laughs> least in life. North America and the U.S., camping world, I would suggest it. We also got our car back. That was a big... Yeah, was getting big the help. car back from San Diego true, was true. actually pretty big. <laughs> Don't uh, have to drive our hunk of junk anymore. Yeah, and now we got a chicken barn. Yep, taking it apart. Oh, yeah. It back up. So fun. Gotta take some uh, corrugated metal off the sides and move that frame. Woohoo! Awesome. Thank you for the update. Also, the broody hen that we've got, there's only four viable chicken eggs left underneath her. We're not really sure what happened to the rest. It's just kind of in a little mix of confusion with our teenager doing the chores and. Will and doing Will the doing the chores and me and doing the, the chores. chickens deciding to bury eggs. Yeah, they, yeah, it was a whole mess. So there's only four viable ones left. Hopefully she stays broody and hatches out a couple of them. But I'm getting pretty irritated with the process. So maybe we'll just Sell not all of our do chickens it. and get ducks? Maybe we'll just not do this whole broody chicken thing at all. I don't know. We'll see. The other thing we did was we spaced out our orchard 15 feet apart by six feet apart from each other so we would hopefully get more fruits next year and the years after no we didn't learn our lesson but if you want can we try again try again each and every one of you and we will see you on the next vlog bye